Hi everyone, I'm Alice from Tap with Alice. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about um, a part of classic EFT tapping. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And EFT tapping is a method of tapping on acupressure points whilst we talk about our problems. And you can find out a lot more about all of that in my other videos. So this video is about something which isn't commonly used in normal EFT anymore, um, but which can be quite useful. So in the original uh, sequence of EFT tapping points, where we now tap on the side of the hand when we say the acceptance statement, in the original sequence, they would rub on a so-called sore spot on the chest. Um, so I'll show you where to find it, first of all. So it doesn't have to be very accurate. It's quite a large area you're looking for, and you're gonna use a few fingers, but it's, um, a few finger widths underneath your collarbone. So there's your collarbone, a few bit, a bit down and sort of in the middle. So if there's your collarbone and there's your breastbone or sternum is gonna be sort of in the middle, a few finger widths in each direction, sort of there somewhere. And if you press quite firmly around there, you will find a sore spot. Um, and so there's one on each side, you can do either side. So in classic EFT, what you would do is while you were saying the setup statement that we now say whilst tapping on the side of the hand, you would be rubbing on this point. So instead of saying, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, you would say, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then after that, after you do that three times, you would go around the points with the normal tapping sequence. So what is this? This is not an acupressure point. It's um, it's a larger area. Um, and you can almost feel the kind of nodules or something. So this comes from a, um, a modern variation of, of a therapy which uses acupressure and other techniques called Touch for Health, which I trained in some years ago. Um, and in Touch for Health, these are called uh, neuro... Oh, I've got a fly on my cheek. <laughs> These are called neurolymphatic reflex points. So your lymphatic system is um, a system of fluid channels in your body. So you've got your blood, blood vessels, which obviously carry blood to and from your heart. And you also have your lymphatic system, which are, is a series of channels which carry lymph, which is a, a transparent liquid. It's the stuff that comes out of a wound like pus. Um, and it carries antibodies and hormones and proteins and takes away toxins, the waste products from your cells. Um, one of the main differences between blood and lymph, apart from the actual substance, is that your blood is pumped around your body by your heart. So even if you're standing on your head, your heart will pump all the blood up to your feet. Your lymphatic system, though, um, it doesn't have a pump of its own. It moves around. The lymph moves around your body through movement. So when you go for a walk um, or take any kind of exercise, move your body, stretch, um, that is moving your lymph around. So another way that you can move lymph through your body is through massage, which is one of the reasons that massage is so good for aching muscles because it moves all those um, toxins out into the lymphatic system and out of your body. There are um, various points in your body called lymph nodes where um, the lymph, uh, the lymph constant is concentrated. So for example, in your armpits, in the groin, in the neck, sometimes if you've had a cold, you'll feel big um, swellings in your neck and that's your lymphatic system really um, boosting the white cell blood, the white blood cell production to help you to fight that cold. So neurolymphatic, lymph, neurolymphatic reflex points are not lymph nodes. They are special points which have been found to release and improve the circulation of lymph flow in your body. So it's almost like a switch that um, if, it's, if it's getting a bit stuck and stagnant, it will turn off and the lymph will not flow well in your body. So when you rub and massage these points, and this is just one of them, there are many in your body. When you massage this point, it helps the lymph to flow well. It improves the circulation in your lymphatic system. So uh, there are a number of reasons why we might want to do this. One, obviously, is the physical reason that it will help your lymphatic system and um, optimize your physical health. Um, in the Touch for Health system, 
the uh, emotions and the mental side is all interlinked with the physical. So as well as the physical level, it's also thought to work on the emotional level and the energetic level as well. So when you rub these lymphatic, neurolymphatic reflex points, it um, um, helps you to unscramble and unstick your emotions. So if there's a blockage in your emotional um, makeup or some kind of obstacle in your thinking process that's stopping you from moving on to where you want to be, then the idea is that this can help you to release that and loosen these, these blocks and help you to move through and process your emotions and your thoughts. This particular one is related to the stomach meridian. So that now we're moving, there's the physical, the lymph system, there's the emotional and mental, and now we're moving on to the energetic. So this point is related to the stomach meridian, uh, which is one of the energy channels in your body, according to traditional Chinese medicine. And um, I'm not sure why they picked this one. I don't know all of the details of how uh, how EFT was um, first uh, developed, but the, it's an important point and it, it can be quite useful. So I mentioned this because it's still taught in classic EFT. If you take a, a course in EFT level one or two, you will probably come across this point. Many people enjoy it a lot. It feels really good to massage that. And so you can use it as an alternative to the side of the hand point. It's up, entirely up to you. Sometimes it's nice just to rub this point during a session. Sometimes I use it whilst, you know, as a break in the session, whilst we've been, if we've been tapping for a long time, it's it's nice to have something different to do just to keep the energy and the, and the, um, the energy moving around your body and your system just to have a little chat in the middle of the session and see how we're doing and uh, and just have a little break so that was the sore spot thank you so much for watching and you can find me on my website tapwithalice.com and also on facebook tap with alice bye